Another tool that Rockwell makes available to help you size a FactorTalk optics application is the device sizing tool. So the previous video discussed the runtime sizing tool. The runtime sizing tool helps you figure out what size runtime license would you need? How many feature tokens would you need for your application? It helps you figure that out perhaps before you develop your application. But the device sizing tool will assist you with selecting the right hardware for the application by evaluating some factors such as uh, CPU usage, memory requirements, graphics processing, uh, connected devices, just to help you maybe pick out the, the, the type of hardware you would need to run your application. Now, to get to the device sizing tool, it's going to be right next to the runtime sizing tool at the Factor Talk Optics page that you get to from Factor Talk Hub. So let me back up a moment. And if you do log into Factory Talk Hub, I'll have to get re-logged in here by entering your username and password. You will come to the Factory Talk Hub homepage, which will have all the tiles. And again, you don't have to have any kind of entitlement or licensing to um, to get to this point of the Factory Talk Hub. So you will see all these various cards. You'll see that most of the ones I have, even on my screen are locked out because I don't have entitlements for them. Um, but if we come to the Factor Talk Optics, if I click on this card, this will bring me to this page right here. Now, you don't need an entitlement, again, to get to this point. This is uh, the only time you need an entitlement for Factor Talk Optics here in the hub is if you want to open the Optics Studio in the browser, if you want to run the cloud-based version of Optics Studio. That's the only time you would need an entitlement. Um, so up here we see re uh, releases, entitlements, runtime sizing, and then the device sizing tab. So I'm going to click on that and then I'll open up the, the device sizing tool. Um, and it just gives some disclaimers that, hey, this is going to be approximations and just to help you figure out, you know, what you might need. I will also say that at the end of this, it's going to kind of steer you towards the appropriate Rockwell hardware. Um, to run the optics application on, such as the optics panel or an awesome PC. But to run through the, the, the tool, it's really straightforward. You're going to just uh, enter such things as how many tags would you have, how many of them are structured tags, and how many um, items are in the structured tag, how many alarms, how many uh, the data logger, basically how many variables are you logging, an event logger, how many recipes, uh, variables in the recipes, how many web clients might you have? I'm just going to enter some numbers with really no um, set uh, kind of script here as far as figuring out. I'm just going to randomly select some numbers. Say maybe we're going to log um, 100 variables in our data logger. Um, maybe we're going to run five web clients, perhaps. Maybe we'll have one. OPC UA client connected to us and we hit next. Next it'll kind of uh, let you choose your screen density, whether it's going to be a, a low, medium, or high amount of graphics per screen and how many of those would you have. So maybe we'll have, you know, 10 with really low density. Maybe we'll have 10 with medium density. Maybe we'll have 10 with high density, right? So we're just going to, you know, guesstimate what we might have in our application. Choose next. This brings us to the recommendation. So um, based on what I just entered there, um, if I was going to run optics on an optics panel, which is the the closed, um, you know, uh, the closed OS uh, panel mount optics panel, uh, then it's recommending the optics panel compact. And uh, we could see that. Um, we're getting you know 400 megabytes of memory. Talk Optics is going to take about 391 megabytes for a total of 791, and it kind of gives you some estimations on startup time. If we were to look at the switch that to the embedded edge compute module, we see that you know the, the available amount of memory on that device, um, Optics again the application should be about close to 400 megabytes, uh, leaving us um, you know with that total and then uh, some startup times. And if we're going to run on an awesome PC, um, basically same thing. If we got a gigabyte, if we got a gigabyte of memory, uh, 
It's for the system. Optics is going to need about 400 megabytes. So it could help you, you know, uh, um, it could help you in figuring out a little bit of what your runtime, um, you know, requirements are going to be for the application so you can face your hardware. Uh, again, it's going to steer it towards Rockwell stuff, but uh, just to make you aware, it's really more an awareness that this device sizing tool exists and it's uh, up here from the Factory Talk hub next to the runtime sizing tool.